What's up, Eddie? Mark, how you guys doing? Oh, let me turn that one down. Mark, how you guys? Been a while, guys. How's it going? Hey, Becca. Hey, Glenn. Sean. Bottom feeders. Catfish and dreams. Welcome, welcome, guys. See if we get just a few more people to come in, then we'll get started. Dave, welcome. How's everybody doing today? Can you hear me fine? Serena, hey. Y'all give me a give me a thumbs up if you can hear me just fine. All right, all right. Give it just a few more minutes. A few more minutes. Had to add me a little air conditioner in my room in here. It's uh off a little bit from the rest of the house, so it gets warm in here. Hey Betty, how you doing? Had to turn it off because afraid you guys wouldn't hear me if I had it on. But I guess we got 10 people in here. We can go ahead and get started. Got me a little package in the mail today. It says it's from uh, Steve Douglas at Monster Rod Holders. Let's see what's in here. Starting off with a hat. Nice red monster hat. That's a good looking hat there. I think I'm going to like that. The green shirt. Oh, yeah, that's the perfect color. That's the perfect color. We got to open that up too. We'll get to the good stuff in a minute. That's the front. That's the back. Oh, yeah. And that almost matches. Close enough, isn't it? <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. What's this? Oh, this is decal. Oh, man, them are huge. Them are freaking huge. That's going to look good on the boat, isn't it, y'all? Oh, man. Two of them the exact same. I got one out. A Monster Cat Club. That's a different one. I haven't seen that one before. That's pretty cool. And boom. We got the... Five thirty-five Talon rod holders in the slime green. And I can get it out of here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to love that. That's a good looking. Uh... Hey there, Justin. What's up, James? Appreciate y'all coming in. Oh, man. Now my birdies. I got six of the traditional. 3345s also. These are going to go on T bars. 
whenever they come in, he has a backload of those because the bases for the T-bars, he didn't, Ryan, the guy from Monster, he didn't like the way that the uh, bases were manufactured, so, man, I can't wait to get these out on the boat, y'all. Three more of those. Got all the bases in here. I ordered two different kind of bases. Got the rail mount bases. The regular bases also. But as I was looking more into the new boat that I got, I got rails on the front and the back. So I don't know if I'm really going to need these or not. Probably have to order some more of the uh, rail mount. Yeah, I'm going to like that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna like that. Put them on the I got reels on the front and the back. What's up, Central Valley? Appreciate you coming in. Eric Burnside. Sorry if I missed anybody. Get a little excited. Got some uh, new stuff to play with. How is everybody today? Put these back in the Little package so I don't lose them all. I already drop on the nuts. What's going on, guys? How's everybody doing? It's been a little while. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, smash that thumbs up for me if you wouldn't mind. Color seems to be a little off, but that's all right. Using the computer to do the live stream. Yeah, Brandon, I hear you. <laughs> but hopefully it'll be good by the weekend and we can all get out there and do some fishing. I've actually got the boat. Uh, what's up, Avid? Yeah, Serena, uh, the Ohio River went from 17 foot up to like 24 foot pretty quick. Makes good for bumping, though. But yeah, I've actually got the boat uh, tore apart right now. The We're redoing the hubs and the trailer lights. So that way, if I want to take off on a trip, I know that the hubs are good and I don't have to worry about it. Be able to hook up and take off and not have to worry about it. The guy I bought the boat from, he said it would be uh, like a year that he's done them, but I still go ahead and get them done. That way I got that peace of mind whenever I want to take off and go somewhere. Some specs on the boat. It's a 1999. Tracker Targa, 18 foot. That thing is deep, man. When I stand up inside the boat, it comes up almost to my hips. It's got a 90 horsepower, 1999 Mercury. Yeah, 1999 uh, Mercury, 90 horsepower motor. She runs like a dream so far. I took her out Saturday morning, and then the uh, storms ran me off. And then I took uh, my wife Saturday night, and we just kind of rolled up to the dam, and we just dropped the trolling motor, and we floated on back. No fishing. That was hard. That was really hard not to do some fishing, but it's all right. I'll get plenty of time to do some fishing. 
Yeah, my buddy had a, a Targa we fished out of for a couple of years, and I like that thing. I, I seen this one for sale on the internet, and man, I jumped all over it. I drove to Clarksville, Indiana, and brought it home. They do handle some big water. They handle some real big water. Dang it, Serena, you're going to be fishing from the back deck. Catch them channel cats up there eating them worms. Seen that little flathead you caught. Yeah, as soon as those, uh, I'm going to go ahead and mount the, uh, The Collin 535 rod holders, I'm going to go ahead and mount them on the rails so that way I can do some, uh, at least some suspend drifting until the uh, T-bars get in. Things are going to look good on the boat. Oh, oh my goodness. That's what I'm talking about. I like that. That, too, that thing is cool as heck. And the old shirt. Yeah, I like that shirt. <laughs> Gotta have your waders on, I guarantee it. <laughs> Cleaning the puppy box. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, Brandon. Uh, man, them things, uh, boats are expensive right now. I, I looked and looked and looked, and it was 20, 2010 Sea Arcs, and they still wanted, you know, 20 something thousand dollars. I just I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. Cleaning up after eight lab puppies. Oh, I bet that's fun. I bet that's real fun. Yes, they are super hard to come by. What's up, Mike Sampson? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, when we was out on the Ohio River Saturday night, uh, I knew the river started rising while we was out there because there was some logs floating down the river. When I was up there Saturday morning trying to catch bait, there was one 15-foot log just kept going around in the eddy. I'm like, man... Yeah, I'm just getting off work. Come home, seeing that package was laying there for me. I got a little excited. Serena, check your uh, Facebook Messenger. What is a sampon there, Avid? <laughs> Yard will be a yeah, I guarantee it. You probably got 
probably get all kind of logs and stuff up in there when the river rises and drops. Yeah, I branded me to most of the time we get packages delivered there for the wife. She usually uh <laughs> gets things, but what's up, Dale? Yeah, she likes that uh Amazon. Who are you chasing, girl? I don't see the comment. I was looking for it. I can't find it. That's all right. But I don't know. I don't know anything else. What do you guys know? I'm gonna hurry to go get the boat back now so I can get uh get out there and uh I might record putting some of this stuff on the boat. I mean it's pretty simple since it's the uh rail mounts. Two boats, put them on the rail and Tighten it up, but I don't know. I might record setting it up a little bit. Boat's got a uh, a front live well that'll hold quite a bit of fish. I probably still have to make a tournament live well out of a toolbox and put it in there for the bigger fish. But I'm excited because it's got a small bait tank in the back. That's nice having them just a little. Little round, 12 foot deep, that's gonna be nice. Well, I'll catch some shad and throw them in there. Is it raining where everybody's at? Is it supposed to storm here in a little bit here? Dogs in the house, so it must be raining now. Yeah, Brad, it was pretty crappy. I actually want to go out. Dang it. Anybody go out and catch any good fish this past weekend? Hey, Ricky's Fishing Adventure. I can do a, a quick recap for you, buddy. Uh, anybody else that's wasn't here for the unboxing, we'll do a quick recap. We started out with just a, a little monster rod holder. Sent me a hat. Got a shirt. To the cool stuff. We got the uh, 535 Talon rod holders in the slime green. And we got the uh, traditional 3345. What's up, Troy? Appreciate you stopping by. I'm going to mount these on some T-bars on the back of the boat. I'm going to mount the uh, Talons on the side of the boat for drifting. These will be for pulling boards and anchoring and all that other good stuff. What's up, Dan? Appreciate you coming in, buddy. Just uh, going over. Got the rod holders in for the boat. Of course, I went with the green. You know how it is. Yes, sir. Good color choice. You know it. You even got a green shirt to go with them.
Green truck, green boat. I had to get the green rod holders. All right, guys, check this out. Hey, Serena. Hey, can you How hear you me? Yes, we can hear you just fine. I can hear you fine. Hopefully everybody else can. I can't see chat or anything, so. Hello, I can't everybody. can't see chat. No, I can't. This was short notice. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I am a mess. <laughs> I had to talk. I had to talk her into coming on, guys. She said, no, I'm a mess. <laughs> yes, I had to put my hat back on and everything. <laughs> it started raining earlier, and I came in, and I was like, you know, it stopped raining, so I'm going to go back out. Well, then it started raining again, <laughs> so I'm See. back in. Well, hey, at least you got to go out and do a little bit of fishing. Oh, yeah, yeah. You caught that little, did you catch that little flathead today? Yeah, this morning. I went out about 6.30 this morning, so... I head out after Thomas goes to work, so you know, right. get some in every day. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. Y'all yeah. got any questions while we got her up here? Was you just using uh, the worms for that flathead fishing today? or? Yeah. You know all whatever. of those are worms. Yeah. I thought, you know, that'll be good since, you know, rivers coming up and everything and you know when it rains how the earthworms and stuff come up from the you know ground natural bait hey but yeah i'm sure you fine. probably catch everything out there on worms oh yeah yeah i have and you know bank fishing is good when the river's coming up for the bait fish you know right right Haley evans what's up you know so uh if you're in a boat, if you're a boat fisherman, you know, head over to the bank, you know, so you can get that bait. <laughs> Definitely. Lee, uh, all the big fish are on the nest, but the smaller ones, you can still go out and catch them. Yeah. Like the drum and the buffalo. I've been catching a lot of those lately, too. So. Man, you target them buffaloes. Those <laughs> things, look, they, look, they look fun to catch. Oh, they are. They find I've never... a little bit like carp. You know, I've never but, I've never targeted them before. Yeah. And uh, out there now, there's a lot of uh, carp. So I thought maybe tomorrow I might get my carp rig set up and try to catch some carp, though. Hey, big nice. swim. So, I mean, and there was a big one out there. So I hopefully <laughs> I can get that one. <laughs> now, those carp, they come up and actually roll. You can see them surface, don't you? Yeah. 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 Oh, so. <laughs> and they are fighters when, <laughs> when can you camp in my backyard you have to ask thomas that one i say it's plenty big enough <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah we also have the camper out there so <laughs> yeah 16 have people. a lot of people fishing out there it does get you know lonely fishing by myself <laughs> i guarantee it i guarantee it need to find somebody that works a uh uh, night shift they come out and hang out for a few hours yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah big slam i think i clicked on the wrong one there <laughs> what's up austin hey yeah it, it was so short notice i don't have my laptop or anything i was like yeah I my son i was like hey help me out help me out so I, on this <laughs> I just i i did the same thing i just I got home from work. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do an unboxing. I ain't been on there in a long time. Yeah. So, well, I, uh, I'll i do this on here. So, uh, well, I don't know. I'll wait. Hey, Green Machine, what's up? How is it going? You've been out on the kayak lately and staying in it. <laughs> I know that's not funny, but, you know. Man, if you guys didn't check out his uh, his last video, he wore some fish out. He did a premiere. Man, he wore some fish out. That was some awesome fish in there, Dan. I don't see how they do that. Get those big I, fish on that kayak. Whew, me, me, there's no way. I'd be, I'd be I'd be out of the kayak more than I'd be in the kayak. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can barely get a big fish up the bank. <laughs> Did it again today with three months. Oh, wow. Wow. Good job. 
Mm. Yeah, I was gonna tell a secret, but I better not. Uh oh. I no, you can't. You, you you can't tell us that and then not tell well, us. Well, <laughs> maybe no, no. You have to wait. I need to do a video. Like I said, <laughs> short notice. Got excited. So right, right. <laughs> yeah, I'll wait. I'll wait. But, Want to be outdoors? Hey, buddy. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. Let's see if I can. Let me see. Oh, what did I do? We still see you. Oh, oh there you, you went away. Now you're back. Oh, now you're upside down. <laughs> <laughs> I better quit pressing buttons. Forget it. <laughs> oh, I thought I'd. Uh, it said chat, but it didn't show up the way it was supposed to. So, yeah. Yeah, but Dan, like we talked when you was on the show, buddy, you put your time in, man. You can't just go out there and get lucky and catch them fish. Nope. You got to put your time in, go out there and know where they're at, know what to do. So, yeah, it'd probably be better if I could see chat. But So I then didn't I, know they had a, a green monster rod holder shirt. Not, you know, I didn't either. <laughs> yes, he he said he was going to throw a hat and a shirt in for me when I ordered all the stuff, and he didn't ask me any colors. He just threw them in there, so I'm excited about that green shirt. Yeah, that's nice. Got that logo on there. That is nice. Not sure about the red hat, because <laughs> I'm out in the sun. <laughs> See, I like... Nobody has visors for me. I love right. visors, but nobody has them. And oh, then if I want to get one specially made, they're like, they're way expensive. Yeah. That's why I tried to order more of these hats because people want some more hats. And uh, Catfish, the people that we order them from, he can't get this color. So he said it's like a three-month wait. Oh, wow. So. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to get visors with my logo on it, but, you know, I don't know who I'd wear, you know, the Sharina's keeping it real, you know. <laughs> You'd but, be surprised. Yeah. You would be surprised. I didn't think it, I, I ordered two of these at one time just because I didn't think anybody would want them and everybody started asking about them. Okay. <laughs> I may try. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> One sec. Let's see. What's up, Bobby? Hey, Bobby. Yeah, I don't know if they'll come out with agreement or not. That'd be cool, though. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we need to have a talk with Steve about that. So this new boat, Mike, am I going to get to hop on that one? As soon as she gets set up, you guys are more than welcome to come down and do some fishing. I still got to get and that big one. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be perfect timing too, I believe, because we're gonna be in post spawn here soon. The fish are going to be on fire. Yes. We, we're we going to bust that personal best for you for sure. Good deal. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm also ready for that flathead, too. I'm yes. Getting I'm, all the babies. I'm getting all the babies, but I'm looking for grandpa. Hey, <laughs> I, if anytime you catch a flathead, anytime I catch a flathead, it's a good day. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, we was drifting a couple weeks ago, and we was catching some flatheads that way. But I really want to. It's hard for me because I want the boat moving so much. But I really want to target more flatheads this year. Yeah, it's I hard. I but... If I uh, get one when Thomas isn't here, I watched that one video you had. Uh, Gary, I think he was out with you. Uh huh. Yeah. He had that real long. You need to get you one of them. Yeah. Well, see, we tried to uh, look on Amazon for it, and they're sold out. I can't even remember the name of it, but yeah, they're sold out. Was that like a 10 foot handle on that thing? I think it was uh, eight foot. I knew it was. It was, yeah, it was long. It uh, goes down the bank. We'll see you later, Dan. Thanks for yeah. stopping by, buddy. Hi. <clears throat> but yeah, Thomas liked that net. But the other night when uh, Thomas did that live, we were ha the poles were after we shut the live off the poles were just bending over and we're like we needed that in the lot but we didn't catch anything we think there are a lot of gar out there uh -huh. but yeah they were bending over 
that or them little bitty. Well, I don't know how big a hooks you guys use when you're out there, but them little bitty channel cats can just grab and suck all the juices out of the baits. <laughs> yeah, I use a uh, four eye, and they use like nine. You know, they use the bigger ones. Hey, Ryan Bortz, what's up? What's going on, Ryan? Since you just stopped by, buddy, I'll uh, I'll go through a, a quick recap. We got the monster hat in. The green monster shirt. And the green goodies. I like those too. I need yes. to get me some in orange. <laughs> there you go. There you go. He's got them. They got that imp color, so they got them. Yep. What's up, J Dog? Appreciate you stopping by. J Dog. LG, LG Bass. Boy, Troy, uh, my fault. I didn't see you, but if you left, buddy, I will see you later. Yeah, hi, everybody. I can't see chat, but hey, hey, hey. Yeah, Ryan, it's going to be sleep when she gets set up. I can't wait. But, Sharina, um, when you're out there fishing, uh, do you. Uh, most of the time, do you target one fish or you just go out there and fish for whatever bites? Just go out there and fish for whatever bites. That's right. <laughs> Pretty tomorrow, much. I'm always got to target those carp, so. Right, right. Yeah, I have fun with all my catches. If you would see me, I mean, I catch anything. I get so excited. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> hey, Haz. <laughs> What's going on, Haz? Appreciate you stopping by. Moonlight, okay. appreciate you stopping by. I uh, caught that, uh, I think it was six pounds, seven pounds on the live I did uh, one morning. Oh, I was so excited. And then it was on the live, so that was even better. Right. <laughs> and this if you morning, ever, oh, go ahead. If you ever not get excited over catching a fish, it's time to stop fishing. Yeah. I mean, I get excited over the small ones still. I mean, yeah. You start seeing that rod bend over, and I just, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said Steve. Who came in that was Steve? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I finally got Thomas out there on his uh, page. So. Yeah, that, that, that name cracks me up. <laughs> Yeah, and it's it because, you know, he doesn't get excited about anything. He's like, right. oh, I'm excited on the inside. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he'll get a big fish, okay? Even, he caught that 57-pound uh, blue, okay? And he was just like, oh, I got it. I got it. He was not, you know, didn't show <laughs> much excitement at all, you know? And he's like, it's on the inside. It's all on the inside. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Right. Oh, hey, Brian B. What's up, Brian? Appreciate you coming by, buddy. Moonlight fishing. There you are. Okay. Now, tomorrow, uh, what are you going to use for bait to go for them buffalo? Uh, it's going to be carp tomorrow. Oh, it's carp. Okay, okay. Um, I use the pack bait I mix together is corn. I put a little bit of rice. Um, oh, you got me off guard again. Corn, <laughs> a little bit of rice, and uh, panko. The breadcrumbs and strawberry jello. Everybody yeah. uses strawberry jello. Strawberry jello is like a main thing, you know, in fishing. Right. It's like, so I'll mix that all up. I thought about trying oats because it stays <laughs> on longer. You know, it the uh, breadcrumbs they dissolve quicker, but the uh, oats they stay on longer. So you know. We'll Do you ever chum? Four. Anything? The carp, the carp. Do you take the chum? The I've, area? I've before I've taken just like a can of corn, you know, and just thrown it out there, pretty much. So, yeah. I see some people do that. I didn't know if that actually worked or not. I've never. Oh yeah, you know, I've even just taken a piece of corn and put it on a hook and caught a carp. Really? So, yeah. So they really do like corn. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So it doesn't even have to be, you know, the pack bait. I'm getting like see right there. See the rod go down and calmly reach and get it. I 
can't. You know, I just, I'm just like, I jump at it. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, has. You gonna go live tomorrow, or are you just gonna video? Uh, well, I'll probably just video because when I do a live, you know, I'm trying to focus on the uh, the chat and everything. And I noticed when I went back and watched it, I missed a lot of hits. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And then another thing, if I get on live, I won't catch anything. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, it won't be that entertaining. So I wish I could have got a picture of the, uh, not a picture, a video of the carp out there. I mean, they are just, you know, packed right there. You could <laughs> go down there and just pick one up with your hand. There's so many down there. Oh, wow. Wow. Try Wheaties. Okay. Yeah. I've heard that too, trying Wheaties. What kind of setup do you use? Do you have like special sinkers or just Carolina rigs? Or? You know what? Here we go. Sitting on my desk. Wait. Okay. I got my hair rigs and a method lead. You put the uh, pack bait on here and then you take this little uh, hair rig right here and you stick it inside of the pack bait and then that's how they get it so hmm. well can't believe that was right just right there <laughs> and then i got this little uh the little corn that i put on there the fake corn you know that this little fake corn it keeps away like the catfish it's supposed to you know because they don't want to go after those little pieces you know, so that's why oh. I put the little fake corn on there. I'm not a pro at it, but you know, I'm learning. Well, you, you catch more carp than anybody that I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was so exciting whenever I mixed that first pack bait together and actually went out there and caught those carp. I was like, oh my gosh, you know, it really, really worked. I mean, it's worked before, but actually going out there and targeting something, you know, that's really exciting. So. That makes you feel good too, don't it? Yeah, yeah. It does. Really accomplished. Yeah. Yes. I remember the first time I went and caught my own bait and then took that bait and went out in the river and caught some nice fish. It just, mm -hmm. everything felt so much better. Yeah. Oh, and the other day when I caught that uh, channel cat, I had caught the buffalo first and I used that as my cut bait and then I caught the you know the channel cat you know I, that was exciting for me too because like I said I use worms all the time for everything you know and I thought you know I need to I need to try to use big girl baits <laughs> <laughs> so. you know I wouldn't I, I, I wouldn't be afraid to take one of those big old heads off of them carp or them buffalo whatever put on a different rod with an ADOT and throw that sucker yeah. out there yeah. Let that See, big old flathead thing, come and hit that. My thing, my weights, I only use uh three ounce. Okay, the three ounce sinkers. So I can't get it way out there uh, in the channel, you know, where I need to cast out. So using a big head like that close to the bank, <laughs> I'd, I'd attract the turtles, you know, and they'd be nipping at it for days. So. Yeah, you never know, though. Them, them flatheads might come up here roaming if they smell it. They might yeah. come up there and take a big old chunk of it. <laughs> Speaking of smell, oh my gosh. So we had been smelling something for like a week, okay, in the house. And I said, oh my, what is that smell? Do we have a dead mouse or something somewhere in the garage? And I go out there yesterday. I said, you know, I guess I'm not going to do any fishing. I'm just going to clean out the garage. Okay. I go out there and there is I try, I keep this, uh, bucket of chum, you know, I try to like, I have like this little chum thing that I made and I had put some pork and some hamburger in it and it had been sitting there that long and it was smelling <laughs> like death. It was gross. <laughs> so I was like, oh my gosh. So I had to take it outside to the bank and, you know, I just threw it out there. And then my hands were smelling. Oh, it was gross. It was gross. So always check, you know, <laughs> it was nasty, but I can't, 
I can't tell you how many coolers I've thrown away because if it's not an expensive cooler, I'm not cleaning that thing out. Right. <laughs> and I went out to the boat one day and I had a tournament like seven days ago and I had a hit. I'm like, oh my God, that bait's in the freaking boat. And yeah, I duct tape that and yeah, it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not cleaning yeah. that thing out. No way. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we've even left little bags with like fish in it, and they've just they just turned to mush. You know, it oh, it's bad. Let's see. I was always told flatheads come to the shallows to eat at night. Well, yeah, I know that's where the bigger ones uh come up to the bank where them little ones are. What's up, TX Tiger? Appreciate you coming in. Well, Steve, what's going on, buddy? Hey, appreciate you coming in. We was doing a doing an unboxing of uh, the stuff that I ordered. It came in the shirt, the hat, the goodie, the goodies here, the the talons, five thirty fives, and the traditional uh, thirty three forty five for the back of the boat. Get my T bars in, and we'll be set and ready to go. Damn, I'm going to tell Thomas to get me some of those in orange. Yeah, well, they got. I think he's got the uh, the red, uh, orange. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's got those amp colors. So, yeah, we had party ones over there, sitting over there. But you know, we got to get them on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> what boat? What boat? What are you talking about? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, I can't. I can't wait for my T bars to come in. I'm gonna go ahead and put those uh, the talons on my rails, so that way I can do some suspend drifting and stuff. But yeah, I can't wait for my T bars to come in. Man, I'm so excited to get this new boat yeah. going. <laughs> yeah, but um, when you're gonna be out tomorrow, uh, do you throw all the same rigs? Do you, I mean, do you change up the baits or do you? No, I use all uh, Carolina rig. But today, you say that, I did uh, try a bobber because I thought, you know, there might be some little ones, you know, at the top. Actually, I saw some, some little fins flipping around out there. So I thought, you know, if they're up top, you know, I always fish the bottom. So I thought, well, let me try a bobber, you know, but no, that didn't work. When, uh... Douglas, hey. The when you're throwing a bobber out there, that, that's a lot of work, isn't it? Because that wall bash has got quite a bit of current on it. White River, White River. Sorry, <laughs> I always mess, I always mess that up. Uh, it's not as bad as you might think, but today it was since the river's coming up, you know, the current's a little bit faster. But normally it's about maybe two, three mile an hour. That's you know, everybody says that's fast, but to me, that's you know, that's pretty normal for me. But like yeah. you say, with the bobber, it just floats back to the bank. You know, there wasn't much current, you know, current right there enough to even take it out. So. I didn't know if there was any areas that you had that might have a little back eddy in there and just let that thing fold around. No, not somebody not gets tired of looking at it and finally bite I'm it. <laughs> to venture off, you know. Uh because we have this whole, the whole bank, and I stay in this one spot, you know, but I need to venture off into other spots. Kareem's Life, Michael Marillo, 351. Appreciate you guys coming in. Hey, everybody. Can't see we're chat, just, but I see it, but, you know. <laughs> we're, we're just hanging out, chatting a little bit. We did the, an unboxing of a package I got in today, and. I sent the link to Sharina and she hopped on. We're just kind of just talking a little fishing. If anybody's got any questions for her, just type them up. I'll do my best to answer anything, you know. She fishes for uh, catfish, but she fishes a lot for a carp, and buffalo, anything that bites that hook. Yep. <laughs> Even sturgeon. See, now that I've never caught one of those. 
I need, let's see, my uh, longest one was 36 inches. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, and I heard that they don't get that big. So I'm like, where did this one come from then? <laughs> I mean, you know, so, <laughs> but I want to get a bigger one. All right, Austin, we'll see you later, buddy. See you, Austin. I couldn't imagine not going fishing. You better get out there and do some fishing. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah. You need to get out there now. Right. Hey, where are you at? I think she's in Canada. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to say, like, around here, since the rivers are uh, flooding and stuff, and, like, bass, you know, they like that high water and stuff like that so if you're a bass fisherman get out there i went uh like i said i went to the dam saturday morning just i want to just put some put some miles on the boat so i went up there and just tried to catch some skipjack and it was about like that day you guys came up there wasn't no skipjack nowhere yeah where are these things at <laughs> <laughs> and then my buddy they don't like he, me. My buddy was 50 miles up to the next dam, and he called me and said he caught 200 and something. 200? Like, That's crazy. Wow. Hopefully not here, but they're smoking them up there. I just... And I couldn't even catch one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid to get you on one because you'll be driving to the dam every day. And yeah. Catch one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, you know, they I'm are, looking for places to go. So. They are fun to catch. They really are. Yeah, that's the thing. So, I want to so, get out, but, you know, if, I really don't know where to go. Right. Like, you know, by myself, where I, walking distance where I can walk and, you know, not be is the, uh, is the bank <laughs> Is the bank pretty jacked up along the river there where you guys uh, are? Uh, yeah, I can't. Like, our bank is fine, but if I walk further down, there's not places that I could, you know, Staying for a while, or I can't even get down to get a fish, you know. I mean, it'd be fun to hook one on, but I would never be able to bring it right, up. Right, right. Have I you guys ever went? Have you guys ever went out there on that river in a boat? Out here, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Is there There's a lot of structure like right outside the house? You know, that's where I caught my 19 pound, my PB oh, now. Okay, so. okay. And right now, you say structure and stuff, right over here by the bridge, um, since those trees are coming down, there's more building up, you know. So the last flood, the last big flood took everything away. So hopefully, you know, we'll get more back. So, but we do have like right out, right out here, there is a uh, big root ball. So we're hoping some flatheads are hiding down there. Definitely a good, good place for the bait fish to hide and catfish to come in and ambush them. <laughs> yep, yep. Somebody's out there shooting. shooting uh oh. Stuff. <laughs> Our neighbor, yeah, he shoots at everything. He killed the woodpecker. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told that story. Yeah, I have a woodpecker out here that used to come around every morning. And now uh he bragged to Thomas about killing the woodpecker. <laughs> what do we have in the box? Oh, show him what you got. <laughs> We're gonna start it off with the hat. Here, uh shirt. And the goodies came in. 3345 slime green and the talon 535 slime green. You ready to go? Got some cool decals. Yeah, those are big ones. Yeah. Well, uh, you got anything else you want to talk about? I, joke. I just uh, took some of those from somewhere.
I really didn't plan to stay on this long, but I figured I'd wow. get some, and just chat a, <laughs> chat a little bit. But well, well, I'm glad you asked me to hop on at such short notice. <laughs> I'm glad you came on in such short notice. <laughs> I still uh, have fishing stuff on me. <laughs> I tried to use some stink bait too because I thought, okay, the water is really dirty. It's really muddy out there now, you know. So I thought, you know, since they got to smell, feel, whatever, I thought, well, maybe I can try some stink bait. So I have a little bit of stink bait on my hands. So, <laughs> you know, I even, I washed my hands, but you guys know how, you know, that stuff, that stuff, yes. it, it stays on forever. So, but I've that actually started. Work. Go ahead. No, I said, but that didn't work either. So I'm out there just, I'm going to keep trying stuff and try stuff. You know, it's out there. I'm going to fish it. I don't even care. You know, that's, I couldn't imagine. I'd be out there every day. I'd have, I'd have, I just have rods thrown out. I'd be looking <laughs> out the window. At them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping to be able to do that uh, come Thursday because it's supposed to be up in the yard. Wow, that's yeah, gonna, gonna be flood stage is 16, so it's gonna be well over that. Have you guys done a have you guys done a video when the water's been high like that? Yeah, I plan have on you? doing another one. So I did a little bit this morning and I'm thinking about you know going the full week, you know. Yeah, to, that'd be cool. You know, and you can see how much it rises. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. It's it gets it gets way up here. When I threw that cast net, I did a video with a cast net, and that's when it was up in the back deck. So, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's. I caught my first fish uh, from the back deck a couple years ago. So when I first started fishing, you know, and Thomas was like, "So you want to go fishing off the back deck?" And I was like, "Sure." Caught my first fish there. So. <laughs> <laughs> So they are up here, you know, when the water's up here. My only thing is being taken out by a big one if I'm standing up <laughs> I thought about that. I'm like, you know what? If one of those things hit my leg or something, I will just fall out. So <laughs> that or a snake. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's. I'm not a big fan of snakes either. Yeah. You know, I'm not afraid of them. It's just, I know if I get bit, I'm probably done for. Because <laughs> the hospital is like 20 minutes away. So. Right, right. You guys are way out there, definitely. Yeah, so. <laughs> Either way, we got Vincennes is about 20 miles, you know, 20 minutes. And then uh, Gibson General. So, <laughs> I'm done for. So, <laughs> so if that, that'll be my farewell video. <laughs> <laughs> I better not say that. I better not jinx myself. <laughs> yeah, right, right, definitely. <laughs> because they are out there. I've seen them sitting on the logs and stuff. They're out there. Mm. And plus, it's not. It's going to be warm. So I wasn't too worried about it when it was cold, you know, because it wouldn't be out there. But it's warming up, so. Do you take you a pistol with some uh, snake shot in it? <laughs> a pistol? I, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe call your neighbor. <laughs> Maybe call your neighbor. Yeah, I'll have him out there with me. <laughs> well, hey, I appreciate you coming on. I'm going to jump off here and get this dog for her walk and everything. But uh, yeah, I appreciate you stopping by just for a quick right. minute. Thanks. See, See you later. Guys. Hey, guys, I appreciate everybody coming in. Uh, hooks and hammocks. Just a quick recap. I got my green uh, rod holders in. Got the 3345 traditional for the back of the boat. Got the talons. I'm going to use them for drifting. I got some rail mounts. Go along the rails. I got front and back rails on the boat. So, and the, the party shirt. Of course, it's green. And some really cool big old decals. This one here, that's one of my favorites. But I appreciate everybody uh, stopping.
stopping by. I'm just uh, just hopped on here because I got home from work, seen that box was there, and I figured I'd just come on and have a little chat with everybody. Yeah, uh, I did that too, hooks and hammocks. I lost them all in a boating accident. Can't believe that happened. <laughs> But I'm going to hop off here, guys. I will see y'all later. I appreciate you stopping by. See y'all in the next one.